Uh, this week, I can't help but talk about uh, a game that I am just super pumped for, which is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is coming out on Friday for the Switch. Um, this is Mario Kart 8 that came out for the Wii U, but they have fixed some things, added some things, um, basically just polished up what a lot of people said was one of the better Mario Kart games. I never played it because I never bought a Wii U. Um, which was why I jumped on the Switch. Mm-hmm. It was an it was an easy thing for me because um, I always need some Nintendo in my life. Um, like wh- I, it feels like when I'm away from them for a long period of time, I realize that I really miss the the angle of gaming that they bring. And so I was really glad to uh, to jump on that. But so yeah, um, one of the big things that people are getting excited about is that they fix battle mode for yeah, buddy. Mario Kart 8. So in the Wii U version of the game, there were no arenas, which is really weird because that's synonymous with battle mode, like arenas. And instead you were on a track. Um, so this game brings uh, a bunch of different stadiums um, to Mario Kart 8 and kind of just amps up the battle mode. Um, it looks crazy fun it looks would, really really fun i would say that battle mode was its only flaw like mario kart 8 is f- a phenomenal mario kart especially it was really fun for me on the wii u to see nintendo kind of uh figure out dlc for the first time and actually mm-hmm. add, they added a lot of tracks added characters uh you know they had an f-zero track to mario kart and they broke That's some awesome. they broke some mario kart rules of like there were Nintendo characters that you associated with all these kind of Mario sports-ish games, but then, you know, when Link shows up and Animal Crossing characters show up, like, it started breaking down the walls of, like, no, all Nintendo stuff can show up here, and that was really cool. Um, But, yeah, the battle mode was a big bummer that it was so lazy. It was just like, uh, we didn't have time for this, so just play on the courses that are already in the game. Uh, So I'm glad that they're fixing that. Yep, I'm glad they're fixing that, too. Um, adding a, add a, adding a couple of characters. They're adding the um, the Squid Kids from Splatoon are going to be in the game. Um, a couple other ones. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but uh, adding a bunch more tracks. Um, but I think the thing that I'm really interested about this game and the thing that's been on my mind is, so I told my girls that this game was coming out and that this is a game that we can all play together so first of all i have to figure out how to do that because my wife likes playing mario kart um the kids will play it even though they're terrible at it and i'll of course play it so i've got the two um joy cons and then i've got my pro controller yeah so i'm down a controller right now but i don't think i can do um three joy cons and a pro controller I mean, I'm not sure because that's the thing is it's really weird about like what the switch will let you do and what the switch won't let you do. So I don't know. I got to figure that out. Um, I yeah. might be buying some neon yellow joy cons just because at least they're cheap. Fun. They do. Yeah. Look, I'll buy the. I'll, I'll totally buy the yellow ones. I think that what I cool. came down to is I bought the gray switch. I, did too. I, I didn't like. I could I I like the blue controllers. I like the red controllers. I didn't like mixing and matching them. Like I, <laughs> I wanted them to kind of I don't of know. There's something fun there. about that apes asymmetricalness that it feels like Nintendo. Like it just feels like Sure. or being silly. I know I should have done it for my kids because then they would have just been like, "Well, I'm red controller and I'm blue controller" because mm. they already like fight about which side they are in games. Like <laughs> I'm the left player, no, I'm the right player. Like it's weird. Kids are just so territorial, but, um, but yeah, we'll see how that's going to go. But I, the, the thing that was killing me is that like, I kind of wish I was like a middle school kid again, because I really want to know, like my friends mm-hmm. will not be the ones to bring their switches. We'll all get together at a table, like at lunch and we'll play this game with each other. Like we could do that and it would be really we funny could in, do the, that, in the office. But you guys are too <laughs> jaded. Oh, come you've on. lost you've lost the, you've <laughs> lost the spark. Uh no, I hope we do because I want to try I just want to try it to see if that vision that Nintendo sold during the hype of this console oh, sure. is is at all enjoyable or yeah. if it really when it comes down to it like we're grown-ups we have internet connections we all pay for broadband modems and all that stuff so like 
that's how we're going to do it. Like I'm going to put this on my TV and I'm going to enjoy it in a big screen experience and like hanging out with my console propped up on that little hinge is just yeah. not the thing for me. Uh, you- but for like a middle school kid, man, like you get four of your friends together and you're all sitting there at the lunch table and you're playing this game. I, I, that just sounds fun. It makes me kind of wish I was a kid again just for that kind of stuff. But you just you just want the local multiplayer. They all uh, even even though hopefully the online multiplayer does come together. But I say yeah. you bring your you bring your switch in the office office like you keep doing. I'll bring my Joy Cons in, and we'll see if we can't get two other people to to sit around our our bar in the office and and act like middle schoolers and then yell about how crappy the Joy Cons are. But that's <laughs> that's part two of the story. So yeah, uh, yeah. I, well, so. I'm, I'm glad you're excited about it. So, so the last Mario Kart game I played was on the Wii. Um, That's a good one. Even, that yeah, good. it was. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I think that was the first one that introduced the um, the the dashing mechanic, where you kind of like power slide through turns and build up a turbo now that's and then been, release it that's been in there but since 64 oh yeah 64 had that little yeah you wag, no, you waggle the, the blue, stick the blue thing yeah like, like a, well, you power slide you oh, power, I don't remember you that power slide at all you power the slide and waggle the stick and then you get a burst yeah that's been uh, that has been around uh, okay I didn't play the 64 one a whole lot yeah. I never had a 64 I was uh, not that lucky the we the the Wii one was really good, especially coming off of the worst one. Can we? Le- I right, will. Let's go. What is our- the worst we'll- one? The GameCube one. Double, oh, double I never. Dash I ne- is gar- garbage. I'm trying to think if I played Double Dash. Or not. It's the one where I- it's where you've got the two people and you can f- you can flip them. Uh, oh, and you can even yeah. do co-op where somebody's controlling the one in the back. Yes, it's just okay. No, All right. that wasn't All right. good. I was afraid uh, you and I were going to have one of one of our moments where we just fundamentally <laughs> disagree on something. So, <laughs> no, that no, that one was not good. Uh, <laughs> no, that my favorite one has always been the Super Nintendo one because okay. um, it's the one I played the most. I played a ton when I was a kid, and so you subscribe and, to the the best Mario Kart is your first Mario Kart theory. Uh. I don't think that necessarily has to be true, but I think it's hard to overcome, you know, the nostalgia of playing mm. a game like that and just remembering it in a different way. It's the same way, like, you remember your house being huge or you remember that that hill was more like a mountain that you had to climb. Like, everything is just more grand when uh, when you're a kid. And so I think it's easy to have that that boost the 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 image that you see of those games. Mm. I feel that way about a lot of super Nintendo games, but I've gone back and played that one on super Nintendo and I really love it. I mean, I think it's great on just a lot of different levels. Um, It's just a, it's just a really fun game. Now my wife's favorite is the 64 version because that's That's, the one that she played the most. Yeah. She absolutely loves that one and she never played the super Nintendo one so that she doesn't really have any feelings. That's my favorite multiplayer one. I because I played the Super Nintendo one so much solo, but I love doing time trials and stuff on that. Like I got super ended like trying to beat my score uh, or my time on a lot of levels on that that one. And I played a lot actually. I did play a lot of battle mode with a buddy of mine, but like four player. There was something about the four player split screen in Mario Kart sixty four that took it to yeah. another level for me. So yeah. Um, and then if you'd like the Super Nintendo version, uh, highly recommend tracking down the GBA Super Circuit because it, it, oh, okay. it kind of looks like a sequel to that. Um, and then I have really fond members of the DS Mario Kart, but I can't remember what it's, if it was polygon, polygonal or not. I think it was. I don't think it was, you know, mode seven ish type stuff, but, uh, oh, okay. but the, the, the mobile ones have also been pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, some people were getting kind of hyped about them adding a lot more to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe than they are. I mm-hmm. I kind of paid attention to the details and they're not, you know, it's basically packaging up all the DLC and then adding some characters and battle yeah. mode. But no, yeah. there are no new maps that weren't available on the Wii U. So, um, right. But it's still, I think it's like 24 maps or 36, but it's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good roster. Yeah. So I um, think you're right though. I think one of the big things that this game will test early and especially ahead of uh, Splatoon two is what Nintendo's going to do with online multiplayer. Uh, yeah. because obviously it's not finished yet. Um, I did the Splatoon two test fire and that was just, you can join a match with random people and play. 
and that's it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where Mario Kart 8 Deluxe goes as far as online multiplayer. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, only as time long as, we can, as long as we can play with friends. Like, I'm worried that that ability isn't coming until this fall when they actually roll out the kind of online service for real. But yeah, or or at least it won't be in there until Splatoon is out. Like that could be that could be concerning. But um, hopefully they know what they're doing because that yeah that. <laughs> That test yeah. fire, that test fire for Splatoon two, just kind of spooked me with uh, yeah. whether or not they'll be ready. But uh, the one good thing is that the servers ran rock solid, and I never had any oh yeah weird glitches or lag or anything like that. So I guess that's at least encouraging. But yes, playing with friends—that's what we like doing, Nintendo. You should know that. 